Did you know Battlefield Bad Company used to be called something different? That's right, the original name for the title was Battlefield and the Treasure of the Golden Statue. But at the last minute, EA stepped in and changed the game to be named after themselves. This is my story. No, this is my story. You're just the main character. I get to control you. I get to make you walk around and shoot red barrels and kill yourself. Dice is like, I don't know why people like the Bad Company franchise so much. It's because you can look up and down. Battlefield Bad Company is a good game because not only does the gun model take up half the screen, but the first thing you kill is a red barrel. Power tool. Gotta get a kill with the repair tool. Number one rule of Battlefield is that if you have the repair tool, you have to get a kill with it. Never gets old. It's no, no, it's not. Hey, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. It's not an AC-130 section. I'm in an artillery cannon. It's different. The entire game takes place inside of a telescope. This explains the game's horrendously low FOV. It was very ambitious of DICE to make a game that truly simulates the horrors of war by having a terrible FOV and frame rate. This is your captain speaking. We are a helicopter in a modern military shooter cutscene, and we are going to be going down, crashing into the barnyard right on schedule. Thanks for flying military helicopter airlines. Why'd you guys get out of the car? If you were getting bombed by artillery and you could be inside of an armored personnel carrier or outside of one, I would choose to be indoors personally. That's just me though. That was what I got on the Myers-Briggs personality test. I got likely to stay in armored car. Will the garbage bag get realistically cut open and garbage will fall out? Nope, it made the sound of several stools breaking at once. What did I expect? Place your bets now, folks. Will my seventh generation modern military shooter protagonist be able to sprint to that street lamp without running out of breath? I'm gonna say absolutely not. Let's find out. Oh, whoa, we did. How far can he go? Is it infinite sprinting? No way. I mean, I guess the infinite sprinting isn't really that good <laughs> when the sprinting is about 2% faster than the walk speed, but still. I'm playing as a soldier that actually had basic training this time. A rare treat. Sweetwater, you might not want to stand up there. I'm going to call in a mortar strike right up there. Yeah, you better leave. Good job. This game has voice commands. Did you know that? It's like Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter for Connect. You can say, squad, move out, and they'll go, sorry, I didn't hear that. What would you say? Show the video of the guy miming he's holding a gun in the Ghost Recon trailer. This is the ideal way to play Ghost Recon. Haggard had pretty much single-handedly invaded a neutral country. Not the best move. Now the best move is Queen to B2. I like the pistol in this game, because you know what's good about the pistol is that the view model is not 500 miles long. So you can kind of see what you're shooting at. It's pretty innovative for this game. I'm sorry, it's just, it's just, it's just so beautiful. I can see the right side of the screen because the weapon model isn't covering the whole thing. It's. Such a beautiful sight, I'm getting emotional. Oh, I'm out of ammo in the pistol, great. Back to the AK, by the way, the way you get the pistol in this game is, you don't just have a pistol. You have the AK-47, which comes with a grenade launcher. Or, alternatively, you have the sniper rifle, which comes with a pistol instead of a grenade launcher. So the pistol is like the grenade launcher for the sniper, not a separate gun. It's really weird too, because it's like Call of Duty and Halo were the games, and Call of Duty and Halo are both two gun games. So why do they decide their game should not be a two gun game? I know they were just chasing the trend of COD and Battlefield, so it's really weird. They were like, you know what, let's make, let's make the, the pistols tied to the sniper in our game. That'll set it apart from the crowd. The crowd of good games. Closing time. We don't have to go home, but we can't stay here. this game stole a good chunk of its plot from Three Kings. At least they were subtle about it, though. It'd be really on the nose if you had to steal frankincense and myrrh as well. Look, guys, I found a talking Spaz 12. It only knows one line, though. Clever girl. Look at that, another helicopter in a cutscene. This will end well. And there it goes, right on schedule. This sign says no cameras. Oh, I thought it said no film grain. The sky is breaking that rule. Golf course spotted. I repeat, golf course spotted. Will there be a drivable golf cart? And here we see the game Battlefield Bad Company being played on the Sony PlayStation 3. This is the mission where you are on a golf course and have to destroy three SAM missile batteries. The golf cart does not offer much protection from enemy fire. And I just drove it into the water and it blew up. Don't worry, we're back in the golf cart. Just gonna go ahead and sneak past this APC. I'm going to run that guy over in a golf cart and he's dead. That will be a two-stroke penalty. And now it's time for the classic battlefield maneuver of putting C4 on your vehicle and driving into a bad guy. We're just gonna go ahead and park our car by the enemy sand battery and uh, pull the trigger, and there we go. And just like that, the objective has been accomplished. Oboe's shooting score for this hole is minus three. I am 100% certain there's an achievement for throwing a grenade into the hole. Oh, there's, there's no hole, it's just a flag by itself. What, where's the hole? You could have had a hole in one type achievement. This game sucks. Wow, nice statue of Chibi Robo, you guys. Oh, it loaded in.
It got more polygons when I zoomed in. Good statue, bad statue. Good statue, bad statue. Uh, yeah, just gotta do a bit of server maintenance on the old mainframe here. Hey, here we go. It shouldn't take that much longer. We'll have your computer back up and running in no time. Remember, son, the best offense is not a chain link fence because in battlefield games, one knife swing kills the whole fence. Haggard, get in the helicopter. We're gonna leave you behind. Oh, we left him behind by Haggard. Now who's gonna be the comedy relief? Hang on, I think I have some jokes somewhere around here. Uh, here's a good one. Battlefield Bad Company takes place in an alternate reality where Americans have easy access to insulin. Screw the truck full of gold, let's go to Canada and steal a truck full of insulin. I'm sure that'll be a quest in the new Saints Row. Your quirky, relatable squad will have to steal affordable drugs to pay off their student loan debt. I think this is it. We'll ditch the ride and keep a low profile. Silencers? Oh no, like crouch, like crouch walk. That's what low profile means. It was no escape, but an abduction. Most fine. This general guy sounds like Commander Horse in the Package of Doom. Play that game if you haven't. That's a good one. Ooh, look at the radar. The oil rigs are like 3D cubes in the radar. That's pretty cool. And it's gone, but it was it was a pretty cool feature though. It was a cool feature for the three seconds I had. I, re I really appreciate that, Dice. Good work. You know, the epic Warthog run part at the end of the game isn't that exciting if you're on a turret the whole time. It's more fun if you can drive a car. Just uh, some advice for 7th gen FPS developers. The player has to see all of our very cool explosions, and if they're driving the car, they might miss the very cool explosions. We gotta show off these 20 FPS PS3 graphics to them. We found the gold. That was the goal of the game. Now we're rich. Helicopter gunship final boss you shouldn't have. Truly a shocking twist. No one could have seen it coming. Hi, and welcome back to Video Essay Whiteman. The first helicopter that dies is representative of Haggard's personality as it crashes and explodes, while the second helicopter is more akin to Sweetwater. Each helicopter represents a member of the Bad Company squad. So it turns out, after all that, the US government got the gold anyway. But joke's on them, we're still the bad company. We're taking the gold and running away. And then in Bad Company 2, they're like an elite special ops team because that, that was cool at the time, was to be an elite operator guy. So that's what they are in Bad Company 2. It's like the story of this game didn't even happen. Although it did happen, and you just watched it. Battlefield Bad Company 1. Pretty good game. Very good sound design. Good building destruction. Weird weapon system. I want to have a pistol, please, if you don't mind. Bad Company 2 is better, but this game is, is still pretty fun. On a scale of uh, 50 degree FOV to 100 degree FOV, I give Bad Company 2 a 20 degree FOV, because that's what this game has.